Um, I'm just going to give you all a warning before I start, since I heard there's a lot of black folks in here. Um, if I say anything that offends you during my set, I'm just giving y'all an ass this morning. If any of you bastards decide to bring your ass up here and slap me, <laughs> soon as I find your ass, <laughs> Broward County is a crazy place to live in, people. Very crazy place to live in. Did you hear about the girl on A1A last month? Her and her dude was riding in the car. Girl in the passenger seat, he driving. But she decides she wants to put things in her mouth. Oh, yeah. yeah, you heard about it? Raise your hand so I can see you. You know it. Savage. You. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Oh, same shit, same shit. Get it, get it. I hear that. Hey, I was trying to look Zephyrin up on um Look. IG. Oh, he see comedian see no evil. That's his. I thought I had to take you his name. Oh, he see no evil on IG. Comedian, yeah, comedian, yeah, comedian see no evil, yeah. Uh, it'll say comedian in front of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. You put comedian in front of it. I still didn't pop up. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know while we waiting on them. How we, how we ain't too much into wrestling up to date. Cause you know back in the day we won't, we won't be talking to each other doing Monday Night Raw. No, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. Be trying to get it in. Why well, I wasn't taking no calls. My old lady came and talked to me while Monday Night Raw, boy. Yeah, I'm out here. I'm like, man, shit. Okay, what the hell I'm really missing? <laughs> and that's. That's why I, I, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm turning to them old fools that that, right. that, that complain back, back in my day. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm saying, I'm looking, so that's why you'll see me at an indie show. I, I'll be having fun at an indie show, because I already know that's, that's going to be a legit good, but man, I don't know. Y'all see my head in these Christmas lights. Yeah, I found him. Comedian and actor. He blind for real? Yeah, oh, we gonna get into that. Oh, well, I, I say that for the audience. I let, I let him tell that. <laughs> but like I say, yeah, real, real funny dude. You know what? I, I see him. I've been to his show. As a matter of fact, I went to, to his birthday roast thing, and that was fun. So, you know, we're going, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be interesting to see his stories, you know? Right, right. Most definitely. Most definitely. So ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I, I, go ahead. I was I was I wasn't even under I thought the name C No Evil was just just his name and then I then he came up there, I'm like what is oh, he a blind comedian? What, what, what is this? Okay. Based off like, his like situation, I, I, if he blind for real, that's powerful. See no evil. <laughs> Turning the negative into a positive. Yeah. I mean, I got my questions. I'm asking too about about the legit of this blind. It's, I mean, he sent wow. me a video of baseball. Well, that that's all you then. I think you can have that's all. You. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for letting me know. That's all you. I don't mind you getting that. That's all you. <laughs> so, what you think about the um? The, while we waiting on them, you think um that's what the hurt the new hurt business reloaded gonna be. Um, AJ and uh, Montez, Bobby Lashley, with uh, hey, the hell no. You don't hell think it's gonna no. be right? first, 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 everybody just need to let it let it see where it's going first. Right, it started so, trying yeah, to power. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah, they already already trying to figure out a uh, new hurt business. So, I, I, you know, damn well. It ain't gonna be another hurt business. That's trying to be on top of news and don't even know what the fuck they talking about. That's basically what you're saying, right? Yeah. It probably did one and got shit to do hurt business. It's all up now. If y'all want to use continue of um storyline, Bobby Lashley shouldn't have shit to do with the hurt business if you want to because they turned on him. Yeah, they did. Well, unless he, him. unless they do it as if he trying to, that's uh, he trying to create another one, a more loyal hurt business or some shit like that. I don't know. Don't even say hurt business. 
they don't fucked it up anyway because it, it didn't make sense unless you were gonna have them go against the bloodline y'all motherfuckers they be sleeping on money bro they be sleeping on money for one black people spend money so cater to they damn they they, they at least cater to them a little bit you think y'all making money mm-hmm. you, you, you make a storyline where you got the black culture involved heavily y'all gonna see a skyrocketing and, and it is what it is Shoot, I'm trying to find a niche to get them to down, but we won't support each other like that, though. That's the weird part. That shit weird. But anyway, I'm trying right. to find a niche to how they ass consume off my ass. Yeah, yeah, but because shit, like, no offense, because I think, like, think about the last show we went to. Mm-hmm. It was no, you might well say it was no black people on the show. Right. But as far as the crowd, the who was all in, who was all participating, though? Yes. <laughs> so, so yeah. So yeah. Those, those, those I, I would have filmed my first show like that, and I was one of the kids in the crowd. I would have been sitting there like that, too, like, okay, right, who, 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 who is it that I can relate to? Yeah. I can't just walk up to chase. Yeah. So. But that look, that I think I know what you're talking about. That little kid, there. Yeah. He he uh he had no food himself. I don't been through that too. Why I thought I was going to see real wrestlers. <laughs> hey, it'd be something totally different. Way different. Hey. Be waiting to see somebody you know come out from off the of TV. You know, you ain't gonna never see that. <laughs> and girl was the closest you got. And he was a little bit before he was a little bit, he way before your time. <laughs> <laughs> well, the nephew, he, he, he was like that before, but now you know he 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 you build, he, he, grow he to the he, character. He, like, he, what he yeah, like better, CCW he, he, he or ECW? What what he like? What he like better, CCW or ACW? My bad, your nephew, because he don't been to both shows, right? Oh, ACW. I can really. Oh, ACW. Oh, ACW. He be wide open, he. I'm telling you, he loves New Nation. <laughs> oh, okay. That's his favorite. He, uh, yeah, he he, he loves New Nation. He loves he love Rosa. He loves Wolf. Yeah, he loves he love all of them. He knows all of them. And and I, he I he already, Maserati already uh, family then. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but it probably because it's more of, you know, he's looking and seeing people like and he can more relate to them, right? They're not they're another characters. And then another thing too, what we got coming up? Uh, we got SummerSlam coming up. You heard of any indie events coming up soon? Oh, oh, because I they know gotta, you normally. Go ahead, my bad. Yeah, they got a they got a, a, a ACW coming up the day before my birthday. Okay, it's gonna be in um same spot. Same spot, August sixth. Yeah. We need to holler at, uh, we ain't going to say it on here to get nobody no ideas, but you already know we need to holler at over there on West Side so we can try to get that set up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, they would have had a field day over there. Oh, yeah, man. That, and they're like, yeah. they, I'm pretty sure they can come to a negotiation where that could be like a home place for them, too, because it only makes sense. You in that type of neighborhood, mm-hmm. they can always have somewhere to come at when they come down to Broward. It could be their brow home because it seemed like they get going to that same spot though. Let me call him see if he having trouble. While <clears throat> oh, we waiting on yeah, Marley. yeah, you, you got it. Oh, okay. All right. A reschedule. All this gonna be cut out if he did anyway. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, no, oh. no. Nah. He, he is. He trying to. Be, he trying. Oh. He trying to get the link. I guess. I guess he must have had technical difficulty too. Oh yeah, cause you know all he got to do is um uh, go to the website and type the stuff in. Let me see, cause I got on here. I have to go to my uh Google Voice. I can send him a link, Lord. Let me see if I can share what an invite at. He 
you. What's his phone number? His who? His phone number. Oh, I called him off the book. Oh, oh shit. Well, I can't send him yeah. the link. Then yeah, I, was yeah, gonna, I, called, I, was, I called him. I was gonna text him the link, but shit, you got him off Facebook. It ain't gonna work. With just no future mm -hmm. references, I can do that. I can, oh, I can, okay. um, yeah. yeah. So we, we, we don't, we don't upgrade. Yeah, that is, yeah. <laughs> we don't upgrade it. Yeah, I just that's, sent that's, it that time. Link, huh? Yeah, the link, the link, the link will take us straight in there. Yeah, it'll take you straight in there. It it'll is what it is. Straight through it. But we just know we mm -hmm. got that though. We upgraded. So I, but I definitely need a phone number though. So just so you know. And yeah, man, I'd like to thank all our subscribers, our old subscribers, our new subscribers. Uh, for sticking with us and watching our videos, we got a consistent number of views. Uh, compared to our subscribers, it actually go a little over. So that let us know as far as hey, the analytics, y'all yeah, yeah. watching us. So yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you. Like the last one, I did pretty good. It was what, two days. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I, I guess that's pretty good for us. <laughs> mm -hmm. We we usually ain't reached that number until it's been some months. So and we got I, a I guess, we got a. Marlon Marlon uploaded uh real on our IG. Our IG is Lamar TV, L U M space M A R space TV. Oh my god, oh my god. yeah, yeah. We're we on the way going viral. So shout out to Marlon. I think, I think yeah, we almost gonna hit six. Well shit, what about almost six thousand likes away? Bro, we that's over 10k views. Mm -hmm. We got over 10k views of, of that. I'm like, hey, gotta, all right. Yeah, yeah. So, so just shout out to Marlon, man. Marlon coming through, and we need y'all. If y'all, you need y'all to dog on subscribe to the channel, man. We got to get our subscribers up. Uh, yeah. If y'all ain't go check it out, Samoa and Wolf did some bullshit that I would that I would never try. I mean, I it, it makes so bad. It looks like it, like that ain't what he wanted wanted to do. But then, I guess he he, he was. I don't know, it's confusing. Like, okay, it looked like he slipped, but then, you know, he bounced back and did the moon. So, but you don't, you don't know if that was really what he was trying to do. Mm -hmm. It looked good, though. Somebody had commented on that. This, is, this isn't new. Get your ass off there. Who asked you? Who asked you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would say this. That, that, ain't, that ain't no shit out of practice. And so everybody, welcome to the show. Want to, want to, a few comedians in South Florida that's legit funny as hell, and I done became a fan on the one and only See No Evil. What's up, bro? What's going on, everybody? What's this going on, big man? Represent for the South. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And just to follow up with Marlon, um, Mr. See No Evil, what we do here, this is your platform. Uh, it's basically you speaking to the audience as if nobody know who you are. Uh, just to give them some idea on who you are, what you do, what you went to, and how you got into it, uh, you know. And uh, we, we're we very happy to have you on the show. And um, we can start off from there. What got you okay. into being a comedian? Well, my name is Comedian Cena Evil Eye. I'm from South Florida. I grew up in Miami, moved to Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm a totally blind comedian. And actor, I do a bunch of stuff, y'all. Y'all will find out in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But what got me into comedy is um, I, comedy wasn't in my future. It really wasn't. But I have a cousin that's a musician, and he was checking things on his phone one day, and he called me. He he said, you know, they're giving a a comedy one on one class at the Hollywood Improv back when it was over there. You know, mm -hmm. when it was at the Hard Rock. Mm -hmm. And this class put us through these uh, six week classes, learning about how to construct our funny into actual stand up comedy. And that's what I did. You know, I paid the fee. And at the end of the six weeks, they put us on stage in front of a packed house. And once that happened, you know, I was a hit. So I just, I've been doing it ever since. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Taking advantage of opportunities in your investment. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, you know, being being different, going through school, you know, 
kids see that as an opportunity. Adults too do too, but mm -hmm. kids see that as an opportunity to try to rank. And mm -hmm. um, you know, I wore I had to start wearing glasses in elementary school. Um, I lost my sight once, got it back, and you know, along that time, I was I you know at times I could be the um focal point. But what I did is I turned it into humor. So, you know, up until I started doing stand-up comedy, you know, my my quick comebacks were me. You know, I made a lot of friends that way, stayed out of a lot of fights that way, um, <laughs> got in with a lot of teachers that way. You know, it's just it's just who I am. Mm -hmm. Just to, you know, you're not gonna get no easy win on me. I'm gonna say something back. <laughs> and that's I had to learn to convert that into actual structured stand-up comedy. So it's been fun doing that. And it, and they it say usually most comedians you know how, you you really had to know how to crack in high school or something because you can't be no comedian and you don't know how to take no cracks or okay, crack on nobody. Right, you're right, you're right, and and really the the most funniest people are the ones that have been through some stuff, you know. Most right. definitely. Oh yeah. You got a, you got a lot to talk about. You just got to twist the words up a little bit. Most definitely, man. Most definitely. Um, when you went, so after uh, when your first time when you got on stage in front of the large crowd, of course you was able to hear and feel that energy. How how was your mindset at the time? Was you nervous or? Um, I went over everything that I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Um, to be honest, even from from the first time that I took the stage. My worry was more about what's going to happen on the way to and off the stage. You know, am I going <laughs> to am I going to trip over something? Am I am I going to knock somebody wig off? Am I going to knock a drink over? That's what I was most worried about. I wasn't worried about <laughs> what happened when it got on stage. Because <laughs> um, I've been performing since I was little. You know, I've been in plays. I've been in music programs since I was oh, in so elementary you were ready. school. Okay, yeah, I, I knew how to handle the spotlight. I I was also um. A musician for for some years it, it just you know it was the spotlight wasn't new it's just i was doing something different what instruments did you play my bad man i'll for that what instrument it, it may sound cliche but i was playing the piano <laughs> ain't cliche man it is what it is that's one of the instruments to play yeah it is then i then i learned how to play the drums too so i i, I do a lot man i have done a lot of my in my life i i've if if it's out there, I probably tried it. So it's safe to say you your sound, your your ear for sound is impeccable. You you basically play off what you hear and how it yeah, sounds. I do. I do. Sounds are very big to me. My my ears can be my eyes at times, you know? Mm hmm So so what was like when you your what what would you say was your worst experience on stage so far? Worst experience. Um. Oh boy, that's a good point. Uh, I would say it it wasn't my worst experience, but it was my it was a weird one. Um, how clean is this show? Oh, yeah, man, no it's man, it's real dirty. It's real dirty. We gonna stop putting that in the yeah, street. dirty as you want it to be. No curse. <laughs> Just, okay. just know, you know, we we don't we don't like the disrespect of people. Other than that, yeah, no, I, I don't do that anyway. Go ahead, you say whatever, say whatever. Um, <laughs> it was a show down at Opalaka. I was doing a show for a friend. Um, she put me on down there, and y'all know off of Twenty Second back there, off of uh, uh, what you call it, um. Uh, Opalaka Boulevard, you know, it's hood back there. So mm -hmm. we was back there, we was back there in the factories. Oh. Um, turned it to converted into studios, and I got on, and I was doing my set, and this drunk female decided that she wanted to come and take a picture in the middle of my set. So she she brought her drunk friend, brought her drunk friend up there. Her friend was more sober than she was, but she came up there and said she wanted to take a picture. So I had to stop my set with the mic in my hand while. She, her friend held her phone and then she she gonna talk about some oops I dropped something and bent over and grabbed a handful of meat <laughs> and I was like what the hell is going on who let her up here nobody even stopped her and you don't know and what's I was going like, on 
No, I knew what was going on once I felt it. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so she she stood up. I was like, man, go sit down. I was like, you this you weird. What you doing up here? And she was like, oops, I dropped it again. And she did it again. I was yeah. like, this girl with crap. I was like, you know what? They're trying you to see how good your vision is, really. How? They ain't had nothing to do with my vision. Yeah, well, I don't know, Jay. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to shit. I was trying to shed a little light. I don't know. No, she was drunk. She was drunk. Okay, <laughs> she was drunk. So I, so I made her drunk tail, um, sit down on the stool that was next to me, and I gave her the mic. Since you want to um talk out of turn and do crazy things, here, say something. And she got quiet. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I guess you ain't really want to be on stage. Now, did you go sit down? I took the mic from her and told her to sit down. Then she <laughs> went back to heckling me again, just yelling from over there on the side. Oh, oh if you you get some of this, you'll get your sight back. And blah blah blah. I was like, oh my god. Oh, my <laughs> I think god. I think that was the weirdest thing that happened to me, man. Like, like it it was it was awkward. So yeah, I had to spend weird. the rest of my set, man, um, getting back at her. And hey, she gave you some content at least. <laughs> yeah, she did. She did. She did. She did. She did. Hey, it turned a negative right, so, into a positive. You got some content. All right, so, so you so you don't went into what my next question is: How you handle the hackers? That's me. That's just me. That has always been me to uh, get back at people when they say, say something to me. I I would probably be the person on any lineup that welcomes it. And I'll tell you why. Um, D.L. Hughley, for example, when D.L. Hughley gets up there on stage, he's automatically looking over the crowd to see who, who he's going to pick on. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know that you're there until you say something. Right. So them saying something to me gives me that opportunity to get back at them. Now I know you're sitting there and you got something to say. So now my focus is on you. And it's a, it doesn't have to even be for long because what I'm going to say is probably going to make you be quiet. Right. <laughs> I'm not trying to disrespect nobody, but I'm going to make everybody else laugh at your expense. You're going for the juggler. You ain't even playing with them. The knockout. No. <laughs> no. But sometimes it does mess up your um uh, mess up what you were saying because they it, it does happen in the middle of a joke, right about when you're about to do the punchline, they say something, now that joke is up the window. You can't go back to it. Right. Oh, that is suck. That definitely is suck. Let me ask you, how do you even from a kid, how how do what were some of the strategic measures you use to prepare yourself for roles or for when you go to do your comedy shows and like what did you do? Or what do you do rather? Um, I take my own life situations, my experience, you know, I'm 43 years old. I don't, I don't, for lack of better words, I don't seen it all. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I take my experience and I turn it into a joke. You know, I find the best way to, to make it funny. You know, it, even if it's, if it's something serious, I'm still going to turn it into something fun. So that's pretty much what comedians do, but I have to do a little extra because I have to help you see what I see, you know. Right. I don't, you know, the first thing people ask, how you know? How you know you can't see? So I have to make my jokes to where you understand what I'm saying. Right. Right, right. right. So, so that's if what you I'll... don't get the joke, it's probably because I probably didn't go deep enough for you in it or you just really don't don't understand so my so basically so everything you do is off the top of your head you because of course you there's no nobody why, why? because i can't write it <laughs> <laughs> no but I, i'm just saying though uh, you probably could write it because you said you had your site once before and you had to lost it again so i was just trying to give an insight you know for a viewer to, to realize because that's very special if you could be well, you're doing everything off the top of your head basically i mean you're not rehearsing or writing and reading or, or reciting yeah. nothing so my, that's, my memory has always been awesome, even when that, I did. Yeah, have great memory, man. Shit, <laughs> I got great memory. Before before cell phones came along, every phone number I have ever known was in my head. I I never put any wrote anything down or anything like that. It was all in my head until phone, cell phones came along and they made them to where I could use them. <laughs> and then just. <laughs> It may, now we got to, can't even remember numbers for nothing. You mess around and get stranded or, or don't have a phone. Oh, no, no. oh, I make sure I know, remember the numbers I need to call. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't care if it's the corner store. I'm going to remember that number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how do you feel? So like, what's, what's, what's your, about the South Florida comedy, comedy scene? 
are y'all tightening it or nah? It's bad. It's bad. Oh, it's, bad. Okay. it's 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 just been bad. It was getting it was getting better. It was getting better. And a lot of people that hear this may like this, but the people that I know understand that it was getting a lot, a lot better because we had someone that was going to bat for us. Um, the late Chris Priester was going to bat for us. Oh, and yeah. whenever Chris touched the stage, he put on the people around him. You know, yep. mm -hmm. I got a lot of a lot of gigs from him that I probably wouldn't have got myself. Um, he put me in places that these people probably wouldn't have called me because they didn't they they didn't understand the blind guy. You don't they don't understand uh, um, disability and they didn't want to deal with it. Right. So he was going to bat for South Florida. He was bringing big shows down here. He was. Yep getting on stage with big celebrities in the movies and stuff like that. And he passed away this year. Yep. So since then we've been going backwards and oh, I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh, Bless excuse. you. Bless you. Um, we've been going backwards since then. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we've been going backwards since then. It's, it's like the snakes have come back out. You know, people <laughs> stepping on each other's toes to try to get part yeah. and to get on stage, and uh, it's 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 been a, a big train wreck. And I, I honestly, I I can do my part, but I don't know how to fix it because we we just right back to where we were before. Right, because it because it, it was it was a show. I think it was in Fort Lauderdale. I I didn't hear nothing. I never heard of you, but it was a show. It was you, Bert. And Kibo. That's the first time I had saw the first time I have ever seen you. I'm like, okay, okay, I ain't never hear this comedian. And he's and he's good, and I've been following you ever since. And yeah. that's that's another thing Oak did, you know. I mean, he was a good dude, you know. Yeah, very good. And you know, you have to in the entertainment period, you have to know your part. If somebody, right. if somebody has the spotlight. You don't you don't try to push them out of it. You put you go where they put you. He understood that he 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 knew who was serious about the game down here. He wasn't just only putting on his circle. He was putting on people outside of the circle too. You know, he knew who to call, and it it was just going there. You know, right. nobody was doing the stuff that he was doing down yeah. here. And when he passed away, it just it just took everything back. Even even at his funeral, it was just it, you 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 have to realize the people that are around, are around, and it's just weird. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, not like, what it's supposed like, to. Be. I, you know, I don't get into it, but it's like I felt because you know I I came I came to your birthday roast, and yeah, I, I, I remember it, you put the yeah, video up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I and I and I and I respected that because you know when you gave the little tribute to him. That that was like the most classiest tribute that I've seen for him since. Cause the, all the other so called tributes is basically people using it. Okay, man, I, I, let me. Let, this might be. I can be my night. I can perform. So let me act like I'm on. Uh huh. Yeah, let you me use right. it. Yeah, let me use this now. Okay, oh, I'm bad, but let me let me let me say I'm gonna do a tribute. If I can if I can get booked this night, just just because of that. You know, really, you ain't fuck one like that. You totally right. You are right. absolutely right. And, and just to piggyback off that, it's real hard to find somebody that understands that we're just a speck on earth and everybody can make fucking money. It, it's real hard to run across people like that. It, it's And it's unfortunate because, I mean, that's the truth. I mean, it's a big world and we're just a speck on here. Everybody can make money, man. I don't, I just don't see it. And when you get somebody like that, that's a real bit loss. Um, right. That's, that's not you selfish. You can make money. It, you're right. You can make money and you can do it in more than one way. Right. Yes. You don't have to step on somebody's toes to get there. Yes. 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 And with YouTube. And I, I've been I've, <laughs> I've always understood that. 
and, and with YouTube, it's even easier. I can see uh, not even then though, like maybe from the nineties on back, maybe it was a little tough because so social media wasn't out then. But with social media out, right, right, like I mean, come on, like everybody can eat. You can, and and then even then, collaborate. That's you what know? I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh man, that's a tough one. That's yeah, uh, just man, I, will, I, I gotta say, I will put you in so many comedians that I talk to and deal, hang with. I will put y'all up against any comedians in the country. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But but then, like you say, it's 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 okay. I can't I can't work with this. I can't work with you because you're gonna take my fan base. Right, well, right. We can share it. It's it's to the point. It's to the point where if you if you get a gig or you find a venue down here, it's like you almost have to protect it from the from the people that's gonna be like, oh, they doing stuff there now. Let me go see how many nights I can get over there and and um up up show up this person the person that has it already. You know, it's 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 a lot of foolishness going on, man. I, I just I keep myself out of it, but I still hear about it. Right. So when it comes down to it, which I don't, don't want to be that dude that be like, oh, he, huh? No, no, go ahead, finish. You don't want to be that dude. Go ahead. No, I, I'm, I just never been that. I've never been that type of person where somebody be like, oh, he said this, or we heard him say that because we heard another person say that and he repeated it. No, you don't. You don't get that kind of stuff from me, and uh, I, I, I plan on keeping it that way. You know. You 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 care about your brand. That's that's real important as well. I was about to ask you, um, to you, what do you feel you have a passion for more, acting or the comedian side? Uh, <laughs> I would say probably the uh, comedy side. Okay. I, I I feel probably more passionate about the acting side, but acting gets limited when they only believe they're hiring a blind guy. Then the parts get limited. Now they feel like, oh, you can only play a blind guy because you're a blind guy. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel that way. I, I, I've, I don't think like that. Gotcha. And I've gotten parts where I was not playing a blind guy and people are like, oh, this guy was blind, really? That's what I want people to say. I want you to be like, huh? Right, and it'd be a surprise when they when they see you off screen or you talk. I got you. I will follow you. <laughs> right, and and then when it comes to comedy, comedy, I'm on that stage by myself. I can do and say whatever I want to. The only difference is is grabbing the crowd's attention, making them feel comfortable enough to know that I'm telling you jokes. I'm talking about myself, so you can laugh. And the black crowds are the hardest ones to do that with because. That first joke has to hit because they're not understanding that, yes, the blind guy is out of the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's when it, the really, really hood crowds, they're, they're the hardest to work. And that goes back to the to what I told you about the girl that came on stage. It's, it's really not. There's really no respect until I make them give me respect. You got a command. Yes. What's the father's you been? Like as far as uh traveling out of town doing comedy to do comedy yeah hmm. the furthest let me see well I'm about to well, let me see from 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 east to west the furthest north I've been is um Detroit okay and the the furthest west uh, I think Texas is technically further west than Oklahoma. I'm going to Oklahoma this weekend. Um okay. and then the furthest east has been New York. Okay. You the first person to do it that way. Furthest east, furthest north. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm just I'm just giving you the little the little um connect the dots. Hey you gotta right, be different. Out, all right we running out of little time so but yeah. what I wanna what what's what would be your advice to save a, a little a little boy just at you and be like, hey, I want to be like you. Like, what what do I have to do to be a comedian? And then it, it can be a grown up. Somebody might be inspired to try to follow what you're doing. So what would you tell them? Just a regular person. Yeah. Um. Don't get caught up in the politics. You know, if you if somebody tells you something, hey, don't 
don't do shows at this place or don't do shows for this producer. You might want to just find out for yourself. Oh, yes. But, but go into it, no, you know, being forewarned. It's kind of like somebody telling you, hey, that girl ain't no good. And you still going to do it and you get fall in love and get burned. You know, it's, it's you have to be careful. Yes, you got to be yeah. careful how you do it. And also, you know, be comfortable with the jokes that you're giving. Don't don't piggyback off of somebody else's jokes. You 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 make everything your own because those are the easiest ones to remember and the easiest crowds to rock are with your own material. Good. Everybody listen, he's speaking some some truth. <laughs> and what we and what we do here, um, too, just so you know, we're gonna have all your information. I see you got a link tree. So people with link trees, they just have everything under one website. So we'll definitely have the all only that. thing that I don't have on there is TikTok. That's the okay. only thing I don't have on there. It's it's supposed to be on there. Do you so you do but have a TikTok? The, the same name though. Okay, I'm, yeah, okay, great. Good, 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 good. So yeah, that's if any 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 upcoming events we, we should know about. Um, yeah, actually, I have my own show series that's starting on um September 22nd. I don't even have a name for it because the the venue came to me and asked, you know, they I did a show at their spot and now they want me to come out there and produce my own shows. I'm not a producer. <laughs> so if anybody out there want to do put in some work, <laughs> I'll let me, you know, okay. um, I'm, I'm I'm here to perform. I'm here to host. Whatever it is, I'm not. I'm not a. You know what I'm saying. I'm not a promoter. Yes, sir. But um, it's gonna be on September 22nd at Studio 33 up here in on Fort Lauderdale. Um, you can tune in to any of my social media platforms. I definitely will be posting the flyer. Right, okay, you know, and it's like whatever oh, info oh, about it, just you know, send it, pass send it to us, and we'll we'll, we'll promote it. Do our thing. This should walk with the medicine. I never wanted to ask him. I brother, when you, you look out here, yeah, most definitely, man. We probably gonna South cut out. South Florida needs more stuff. Like that. You probably have to let the devil yes, definitely. If you know anybody that can use the, the the exposure, man, send them our way too. We'll definitely take care of them, man. But we probably gonna cut off. That's what we known for here. So if we cut off on you. Everything is legit, and it'll be up tomorrow. Uh, we have everything in the description. In the All of the ops is opt. Passing, but calm that cast like a casting. But the second and grill like we rasping. Used to the walk, be the medicine. I never wanted to ask them. My brother went up, got caught up in one for them kids who meddling. Niggas been rapping for years in the same place, riding a bike without pedaling. I'm broke it out, boo, you probably asked who let the devil in. Grip on the next to the bands in the face like Evelyn. Walk in the crib with my dick in my hand, didn't give her no time to settle in. Like, shit, my bad, baby, you can sit your bags right there, but take this, grab this. And this is from Cash, not from YouTube. My life, my life.